Hey guys, how's it going? Before we start this guide, you'll need a few things. You'll need, first of all, a PAM pre game. You'll need to install 7-zip software on your PC or Mac, whichever you use. You will need the app Preen V on your N900 and some sort of file manager for it as well. Okay, so here I have one of the games, which is Need for Speed Undercover. Now, you will need to have 7-zip installed before you go any further. The reason being you have to extract it. So, because I've already got it installed, I'm just going to right click and look through the menu where it says 7-zip and just going to extract. Let's create a folder and there's two zip files in here. Don't need to extract both of them, you're really looking for the data folder. So just extract that one. You will get an error message, not to worry, it just happens with every game file so you can just ignore it. And Go into data and this is the folder that we want. So you can ignore everything else and you can actually rename this, make it a bit easier. So we'll make it NF as you see. Now, we will copy this over to the N900. Now, I'm just going to do it via the cable, the standard USB cable. Just going to drag and drop that folder into the root. I've connected the N900 up into mass storage mode. And those of you who have used this before, you will be very familiar with this, all the folders. So, simple, straightforward. To install PreenV, first of all, make sure that you're connected to your GPRS. I wouldn't recommend the wireless because sometimes the properties don't work with them for some reason. Well, I've never had any luck with them. And you type in sudo in root and type in apt get install and you would just hit enter after that and it would ask you if you'd like to continue it would just tell you how much space it's going to take up and how much is going to remain when you install the app it's a very small app so it's not going to take up much space and that is all you need to do to install Preen V open up your file manager whichever you use in this case, I'm using Midnight Commander. Again guys, there are many ways you can transfer files over. It doesn't have to be via the USB cable, so whichever you're comfortable, go ahead with that. You just have to make sure that whichever game you're wanting to play or install goes into the home user directory. If you're using Midnight Commander, all you're going to be doing is, on this side of the screen, you're gonna scroll down Till you get to the folder where you installed it so you're looking for my docs there we go you should see it's always kind of highlighted and i'll just press enter and if you scroll through it you will recognize some of your folders and stuff here which you normally would see if you link up to the pc or mac so there we go, there's, that's the Need for Speed game there. Now, I'm not going to open it up. Now, all I would do is click on copy. And it already knows to put into your home user because the other side is already set to that. And I would just hit OK and that will just start copying it over. It will take about a couple minutes or so to do so. Now I'm not going to do that because I already have copied it over, so but that is the way that I did do it. And Set enter. 
Okay, so I already done this, so I'm not gonna fully go ahead with it, but just to give you an idea of what I did do. So, first of all, you need to open up or go to the directory where you copied Need for Speed over. Remember, it's quite case sensitive, so you have to be precise. So if it comes up with any error messages, that means you missed a slash or you missed a capital letter or whatever it has to be. So it has to be exactly like that or wherever you've stored your game or wherever you've renamed it. So next, we will type in and you would just press enter and when you do nothing much will happen or won't appear as anything which has happened and last finally you would enter gen uh, info dot json and you hit enter and you should get see a few messages come up that it's done something. If you get any error messages, then it could be you're missing something, you've not done something right, and you would need to come back to me and I will try and help you as best as I can. But pretty much that is all you need to do. And once you've done that, you would close X terminal and you should see it in your shortcuts. I already got it on my desktop, but just to show you what I mean. You just have to scroll through. Now I already got an icon showing up there. When you first do this, you probably won't see an icon next to it. You'll just see NFSU. It's kind of like a blank icon. So if you want the icon that bad, just do a, a reboot on your phone or turn it off, turn it back on again, and you will see it. Okay, so. Now that we've done everything, now it's time to test it out. So just hit the icon and let it load up. There is a button, a way you can do NOS as well. I did manage it before, but again, it's just to, because the game is made for capacitive touchscreen, you will find some of the games not as playable. Nonetheless, the graphics and the whole feel of it is pretty good. I mean, considering that it's not actually <laughs> made for the M100, so it's pretty cool how people have actually figured out how to do it. And I think they should actually make it as well. I mean, I was reading up on it on the in Gadget and some other sites as well. I mean, the thing is that the Pan P has exactly the same hardware as the N900. The only difference being with the touchscreen, whereas the N900 is a resistive touchscreen and the Pan P is a touchscreen. There's only one thing, uh, it's difficult to exit things, so the only way you could do that is the typical way is by doing that. You can buy cars and upgrade your cars and stuff in there, but uh, I've not had the chance to actually play it that much. Just seen this today and decided to give you guys a little tutorial on it so again guys thanks for watching and if you've got any comments or any questions then feel free to post them up and I'll do my best to reply back to you as quickly as I can